In the heart of the Achaemenid Empire, under the rule of Cyrus the Great, the elite force known as the Immortals was born. This force was comprised of 10,000 hand-picked soldiers, renowned for their loyalty and prowess in battle. The air buzzed with the clinking of armor and the sound of rigorous training as these warriors prepared for the campaigns ahead. Training for the Immortals was grueling, designed to forge resilience and discipline. Soldiers drilled from dawn till dusk, mastering archery, swordsmanship, and hand-to-hand -hand combat. The harsh Persian sun beat down on them, testing their endurance and fortitude. The Immortals were easily recognizable by their distinctive uniforms, which included scale armor, a tiara-like headgear, and a spear adorned with a silver apple at the butt end. This striking appearance not only instilled fear in their enemies, but also fostered a strong sense of identity and pride among the soldiers. The glint of their armor in the sun symbolized their unwavering strength. Their first major campaign under Cyrus the Great took them to the borders of Lydia. The march was long and arduous, with the troops moving in a disciplined phalanx formation. The cool nights offered little respite from the scorching days, but the soldiers remained resolute, driven by the promise of glory. At the Battle of Timbra, the Immortals demonstrated their strategic superiority and discipline. They moved like a well-oiled machine, their formations tight and impenetrable. The clash of weapons and the cries of the wounded filled the air, but the Immortals pressed on, their spirits unyielding. Generals leading the Immortals were often close confidants of the King, chosen for their tactical brilliance and unwavering loyalty. They led from the front, sharing in the hardships and victories of their men. The bond between generals and soldiers was one of mutual respect and shared purpose. As the Persian Empire expanded, the Immortals were crucial in subduing and integrating new territories. Their presence on the battlefield was often the deciding factor in conflicts. The weather varied drastically as they moved from the arid deserts of Egypt to the rugged terrain of the Hindu Kush, but their resolve never wavered. At Marathon, the Immortals faced a formidable Greek army. The humid air clung to them as they charged, their heavy armor weighing down on their bodies. Despite their fearsome reputation, the battle was hard fought, testing their mettle against the disciplined Greek hoplites. The defeat at Marathon was a rare setback for the Immortals. The soldiers felt the sting of their loss, but it only strengthened their resolve. Back in Persia, they trained harder, preparing for the inevitable confrontation with Greece. When Xerxes I ascended the throne, he revitalized the Immortals, ensuring they were at the forefront of his military campaigns. The soldiers felt a renewed sense of purpose under his command. Their training intensified, and their spirits soared with the promise of new conquests. During the invasion of Greece, the Immortals were the spearhead of Xerxes' forces. They moved with precision, their march a testament to their discipline. The changing weather from the heat of the plains to the chill of the mountains tested their endurance, but they remained undeterred. At Thermopylae, the Immortals faced the legendary 300 Spartans. The narrow pass restricted their movement, and the oppressive heat added to their challenges. Despite the odds, they fought valiantly, their courage and determination shining through the brutal clash. The Immortals were not just land warriors, they also had a formidable presence at sea. During the Battle of Salamis, they provided crucial support to the Persian navy. The soldiers felt the salt spray on their faces as they prepared to board enemy ships, their resolve unshaken by the chaotic sea battle. After the Persian defeat at Salamis, the Immortals were tasked with covering the retreat. The soldiers felt the weight of their losses, but remained focused on protecting their king and the remaining forces. The cold winds of autumn marked their journey back to Persia, a somber reminder of their challenges. Throughout their campaigns, the Immortals' loyalty and discipline never wavered. Each soldier understood their role and the importance of maintaining unity and strength. The bond between the Immortals was forged in the fires of countless battles and tempered by shared hardships. The Immortals left a lasting impact on Persian culture and military traditions. Their exploits were celebrated in stories and songs, inspiring future generations of warriors. 
the generals and soldiers felt a deep sense of pride in being part of such a revered and elite force. The training grounds of the Immortals became legendary, attracting warriors from across the Empire. The rigorous regimen and the camaraderie among the soldiers forged an unbreakable spirit. The cold mornings and sweltering afternoons were a crucible that molded them into elite fighters. The legacy of the Immortals extended beyond their military achievements. They embodied the values of loyalty, discipline, and bravery. The Persian Empire's success owed much to the strength and determination of these elite warriors. Today, the story of the Immortals continues to captivate historians and enthusiasts alike. Their strategies and training methods are studied and admired. The weathered ruins of their training grounds and battle sites serve as a testament to their enduring legacy. The Immortals remain an enduring symbol of Persian might and excellence. Their story is a reminder of the power of unity and discipline. As the sun sets over the ancient lands they once defended, the spirit of the Immortals lives on, a beacon of their unmatched legacy. Our journey through time comes to an end for today. We embark on new adventures every week. If you relish the experience, please like and subscribe.